My friend Stacy here opened up this beautiful salon about a year ago. And as her client load has increased, she has noticed that on her busiest days, Friday and Saturday, she's running out of hot water. So she gave me a call, told me about this, and we kind of discussed what we thought we should do. Here is the existing hot water heater. It's an 80 gallon standard hot water heater from a plumbing supply, pretty good quality. We tested it, made sure it was working and everything, made sure it wasn't defective, and we determined that it was working as intended, no issues, it just could not keep up. At first, I thought the option on the right, a parallel configuration was the right way to go. But after talking to some friends and doing some reading online, we determined that parallel was not the way to go. Mainly because water will flow through the path of least resistance. And unless each water heater is sized exactly the same with the exact same amount of piping, you're not going to have them working equally. So after thinking a lot about this, we decided to go with option number two on the left, the series connection. We determined this was the best option because first of all, it was much cheaper. We could use the water heater that was already there and then pipe the output into the new water heater, which could be any size, didn't need to be exactly the same. We had thought about ripping out the water heater altogether and putting in one large commercial 150 gallon, but it was just way, way too expensive. The materials for this job cost about $700, which was just buying another 60 gallon hot water heater and all of the piping. Here is the finished product. The right is what was existing. We have cold water supply, standard setup, but you could see that the hot flows out of the first water heater into the new water heater on the left. So that hot flows into the inlet of the new water heater, and then the outlet of the new water heater feeds the whole salon. After two weeks, I talked to Stacy to make sure everything was working okay. She said, excellent improvement, no loss of hot water on her busy days, Friday and Saturday, no issues whatsoever. Okay, so this is the original water heater. This is a 4,500 watt, 80 gallon. It wasn't keeping up. We did not pipe this in. They did a really poor job piping that in. So we took the hot output of this water heater and it goes down, around, and back up as an inlet into this water heater. And then we have an output here that feeds the whole salon. So together they are uh, hooked in series. And this is a uh, 60 gallon, I believe, another 4,500 watt. And that solved the problem. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out my other videos. And if you want, give me a like, comment, or even subscribe. Check back for more videos. I have lots of other how-to videos on my channel.